Okay, so first I'm going to start off with foundation and I guess I'll list the products that I used in the description box or whatever because I don't remember what it is. I think it's Rimmel or Revlon. I don't know. I'm just starting it on my face and then I'm going to blend it out with the Sephora Pro Flawless Blending Blush, Brush, Brush, which is number 56. So I'm just going to blend all of that. And I'm going to take a concealer it's lighter than my skin tone and I'm going to apply that on my under eye area and down towards uh, the apples of my cheeks to highlight that area and I'm going to use that number 56 brush again to blend all of that then I'm going to take this Laura Mercier highlighting powder which is a translucent white powder and I'm going to use that to set the concealer and that's just a powder brush and then I'm going to use um, a Bare Minerals loose powder and I'm going to set the rest of my foundation with that with a fluffier brush um, because it leaves the skin really matte but it doesn't leave it looking cakey so that's why I like to apply it with a fluffier brush for a lighter application just to mattify everything and then I'm just going to conceal around my eyebrows to make them look neater okay and then with bronzer I'm going to apply that in just on my below my cheekbones and she's wearing a lot of bronzer in this video so be generous with that and her highlighting is really prominent too so I'm going to use candlelight I, I forgot what it's called but it's from Too Faced and I'm applying that on my cheekbones I think it's candlelight glow but I don't know and then I'm just adding more bronzer and some uh, highlight on the bridge of my nose too and then I'm going to take this Too Faced shadow insurance eyeshadow primer and apply that on my eyelids and um, from this Primal Instincts palette from Sephora I'm going to take that matte beige color in a MAC 213 flat brush and I'm going to apply that in the inner part of my eyelid and just stay within the lid don't really go up towards the crease and then uh, from this Too Faced palette I'm going to use this light brown color called teddy bear and I'm going to apply that on the outer V and bring it in towards the center as well and I'm going to bring that in all the way into the crease um, but don't really blend it downwards too much and round it out at the edge and just take a fluffy brush and blend everything out because you don't want any harsh lines and then I'm going to take this kind of shimmery beige color and apply that to my brow bone because her brow bone highlight in the video is pretty shimmery and then I'm just going to blend that down kind of to blend it in with a brown so the line isn't so harsh and then I'm going to take a darker brown and I'm going to apply that just to the crease not the outer V um, just to darken it a little bit because I look back at the picture and it did look a little bit darker than the light brown So it just goes on the crease. And then I'm just going to take a liquid eyeliner and I'm going to line uh, the inner part and then I'm going to do a slight wing. And I'm not going to line all of it because I'm going to go back and apply eyeliner over the thick eyelashes. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then just applied falsies and try to get some dramatic ones. And then I'm going to take mascara and it really doesn't look like she's wearing all that much mascara on her bottom lashes but still kind of there and then uh, also use that to bind your real lashes with a fake one so they don't look as noticeable and I'm going to apply some on the top too to make them look a little fuller and darker and then I'm taking this color design lipstick by Lancome and I'm going to apply that I didn't have the exact shade of lipstick she used so I applied this and then I took um, a cream concealer and uh, kind of dabbed it over it as you can see to kind of make it lighter because hers and they were matte so I didn't want to use any shimmer so I had to apply concealer over it to make it that light color and that's pretty much it that's the finished look it's really wearable it's really easy to do and I hope you like it